Well, this is my um, C-clamp press. Originally, obviously made for a bottle jack. Um, moving into my new shop, can't seem to find my bottle jack. So, this worked in a pinch. Now I have a bearing pressed into a piece of pipe. Well, this is version 2.0. So the center pivots on a bearing, where my left thumb is, is the uh, drag link tie rod, and then the two tie rods are going to go there, instead of that crossbar setup that I had. Uh, another little thing I whipped up here, I'm not particularly proud of, but it turned out decent. Um, so that's a full throttle stop, but it was hitting the choke. So I got that. So when that's in place, that's your run. It'll fall down by default. And it stops you right before it touches the choke. You flip this up just for the first, whatever, 10 seconds when you're starting it. Put it to the floor, that's your choke. Once it's off choke, Flip this down, and your stop doesn't bump the choke. So that's basically the final evolution of the steering. So see through here, my L bracket comes up to the two tie rods. They're straight and in line with the control arms. So it won't get any wild bump steer under compression. And then the drag link pivot there. You can see that center where it pivots is on a roller bearing now. And then you got tie rod, tie rod, tie rod. So it's a pretty smooth setup for what it is. Um, handbrake works great. Yeah, the muffler was just something I whipped up. Um, to adapt it to the pipe, I just welded nuts onto the pipe and then it just cinches down into the pipe um, just like it does in the head. It's just an extension essentially. Um, yeah, what else? I think that's pretty much it. We need a seat, preferably one with a high back. You dump the clutch in this thing and it shoots you off the back. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm happy with it.